Uh, Grecians, the title of this video is A Planet Full of Dead People. Um, I'll hopefully to the best of my um, ability explain what I mean by a planet full of dead people. Now, I don't mean it in the physical sense as like, you know, dead people, as you know, when you die and you're, you're dead and there's a corpse. I mean it in the spiritual sense that um, of dead, uh, of life being of love and of of um, charity and of of uh, of light, and dead being of darkness and of hate and despair, or no connection, um, to be more precise. I see a lot of people around me, most my loved ones, and I myself was this way as well because I was once dead. Um, I once had no concern of people's souls, I had no concern, I was more kind of evolved than everyone around me, um, loving me and everyone around me, um, yeah, mostly loved me and, and I thought life was this world, I thought life was um, a sense of getting up in the morning, doing certain type of um, activities and things and how to use your time I thought that is life but it's in truth is it is not life is actually a person and that is God himself Jesus um outside of that there's nothing but death so when I mean I'm, a, I'm around the planet of of the dead I mean people have and this is the tragic thing of it they, they, they have inside themselves the image of God, a distorted image of God inside themselves, a, a fractured image to be more accurate. And I see more life in children than I do adults, and it, it's tragic to see, but it's true. And life is creativity, life is growth, life is charity and love, and I see that more in children than adults. Uh, I, it's very painful for me to witness the dead. Uh, are walking around me and the uh, it's hard for me because I, I have the desire to give life unto others but my stupidity is understanding that you can't give life to dead things that they, they must first seek life and offer them to to accept it and, it, and instead uh, it, they, their patterns in the end is therefore death so I I, just, I, I give an example what I mean by life and death. The, you can give an average person a thousand euro, but whatever amount of resources, and I guarantee you what God gives them, they'll spend it on themselves. Now it makes sense to spend on what you need to survive, but when everyone on the planet does that, the end result is um, covetousness and just more suffering, despair and death. All you have to look around you is how humanity is using its resources, and you can see that this is a planet of the dead. There's no desire to use uh, what God gives to bring life, encouragement and growth to use when people are struggling. There's no empathy just to even lift a hand. Or... And I have this with my own family and close loved ones. And, uh, and that's why to the award of the dead, someone that has life is considered insane. Because I go against, because this world is all topsy-turvy, everything's upside down. Good is evil, evil is good, uh, light is darkness, darkness is light, uh, <laughs> truth is, sub is subjective and uh, you have uh, relativism, that there's, there's multiple truths. Um, so it, it's hard for me to engage in conversations with people because um, what's been revealed to me is very hard for even I myself to begin to comprehend, let alone say it to others. But when I do, it, because this world has a transactionary mindset, materialistic mindset, and self-preserving mindset, which is called very dominism, dominism type of mindset, where it's yourself, you should look after yourself, that's what matters first of all, and being selfless, um, the kind of transactionary love that this world has um, is, is completely different than God's love. And it's hard for me to to seek help off others. Um, so I've just so I it is a plan for the dead because you you have like the dead essence. You have those who keep on doing destructive um, choices and actions, and in that destructive cycle, I end up having more wounds, spiritually, emotionally, physically. And those then that are just indifferent to the suffering and pain of others, and then you have those that. 
the, the soul depraved in the mind and heart that the even the enjoyment of seeing people suffer um, that they're completely uh, satanic and there's no empathy or remorse because if you believe that you are an other and because humanity separates themselves in different others I usually kind of unfortunately remove myself from my own loved ones which is the majority of 8 billion people and I don't want to do that but I just can't trust to have people in a group of room to get up now children uh, I can rely on them more and often not to be as destructive but <laughs> but adults <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends the, the destructive has more consequences uh, uh, than, than like children being disrupt, just destructive like it's because like, like adults have more the, the, the potential to be more destructive uh, with the resources that they have when they get older um, than when a child does so yeah uh, I feel like I'm planning for the dead uh, I search around me for life I see glimpses of it now and then and and when I do, it brings great joy to me because it's like, you know, I'm in like a, I'm like in this ocean of darkness and I'm just looking for a bit of light. Oh, I, I, it's, it's all oh, the sea of darkness or an ocean of darkness and it's just, just look for a bit of light in it. But yeah, um, anyway, thanks for watching this um, uh, video.